And what's applied? So let's solve this by uh, 190, uh, 19 random flip matrix. So there are grid matrix with all values set to 0, 0, 0. And uh, there are, you need to, there are three functions, right? One is uh, initialize, and the one is a uh, randomly pick a, a flip uh, indices. So you pick up IJ where originally matrix IJ is 0 and flip it to 1. Right, so this is this uh, originally look trivial, right? Because suppose I just maintain a matrix with, I just build a matrix in this, uh, uh, build a matrix and I just randomly choose whether uh, zero and the change it to one. And then there are resets, right? So for example, one, zero, two, zero, 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 two, zero. And uh, in this case, let's say zero, one, two, right? So maybe in flip, you choose one, zero because in this case, so this guy chose to be one. And the next time you call, uh, you could flip, you can only choose these two, right? You can only choose uh, like the, uh, you can only choose like the two zero or zero zero, right? And then you choose two zero. Okay, so finally, when the third time you call flip, you can only choose zero zero. And then every time you you, you can reset. Okay, reset become, you become uh, reset. And then you call flip two zero, okay. Okay, so let me just explain uh, the naive idea. So the first naive idea is that uh, you first create a, a set. Uh, you can create uh, the matrix, right? You can create, uh, you can, and then you go through each and set the set to be, take each set, uh, you create a set where you collect all the indices. So the, the number in the sets, mean the tuple in the set means that, uh, yeah, it's not used, it's zero, okay? So every time you flip, you just randomly choose a number in a tuple in a set and then remove that number in the set and return it, right? So every time you flip, you just randomly choose something in the set. And uh, whenever you reset, you just reset all the set, okay? The problem is that uh, in this case, if you keep resetting, that uh, you will take M times N steps to create a set, right? So this problem is, uh, this is TLE, but uh, can solve a, uh, almost every case, but uh, probably too large. Okay, so this is the, the naive approach. Okay, but we can uh, we can try to do another uh, another idea is that uh, we create a set but with empty. So this is just the uh, another idea that uh, you are not recording what you you are not recording that what you have not used, but uh, creating what you have used. Okay, so this is the just philosophy change. So in this case, when you reset, it's trivial, right? You just reset. So this is constant time, right? Because you don't do anything, and when you flip, you you choose. Okay, so this is the another idea that. Uh, this is the 2D array, right? But the idea is that you can flatten into 1D array. I right? suppose this is N and N, okay? And then let's say, so you then let's say zero, this is M and minus one. Sorry, M and, uh, yeah, M and minus one, I see. Okay, and then you, so you can choose any number in up to M and minus one, but uh, do the division, right? So you can just, for the first coding, then you just division with N, right? And then you get this. Right, so this is the division, and then this is the module, the mod with n will give you this. So this is x and y. Okay, the idea is that you just randomly choose this from this number. And uh, if it's not in a use, uh, if y is in cell and use, then you continue because you have already used. So you need to do it again, right? If you find something which you, you don't have to, uh, which is you have not used, you can add it into use and then return a coordinate, right? So this approach, uh, the difference with these two approaches that in this approach, uh, when you keep calling reset, the reset will takes takes the the the, the all one time, right? Uh, but it's very actually, it's, I think it's very difficult to to analyze the complexity because uh, imagine there are one situation is that you never call reset, then this code will be very 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 efficient, right? Because each time you all, you already remember everything. But if you call reset at last, then this code will be more efficient. Will be more efficient. So it based on, uh, but it doesn't tell you that uh, uh, what is the percentage of flip and reset. So it's not very easy to analyze complexity. The only thing I know is that this code works, but this code not. Okay, that's it. See you guys next video.